Hi, this is just a quick video how to uh, sort of remove a leash and make the hair look correct. Uh, so what we've done is we start with it, uh, an image with a leash right here, and we want to make sure we can retain all the hairs and make it look correct. And there's a bunch of different ways to do it. This is just one way um, that I work in the studio and uh, kind of shows you how we can sort of make sure that the hairs come back. Uh, and we, you can do that a, a number of different ways. You can always, you know, do the selection tool and, you know, come up here and do the select and, and work that way. There's that option. But this is something I found that is pretty quick and easy and works really well uh, for a lot of different applications. So um, let's go ahead and get started and I'll let you guys take a look. And it's just a different way to do things. Um, there are other ways to do it. So by no means is this the, the best way. It's just a way. And in some applications, it works really well for other things. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to actually go to my stamp tool, which is uh, keyboard shortcut S. And just hit that. And then I'm going to actually start just getting rid of the leash here. It's pretty easy to clone over that one on a white background. It's not real hard. Now, um, the problem is, is when we get up to hair, hair is always a bigger issue because it's so fine and there's all those little hairs going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of come in here and just keep doing that until it's pretty much gone. Um, which, you know, you can probably get away with that in most cases if you're doing an 8x10, but realistically, I'd rather it be correct. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to actually um, duplicate the layer doing a Command J just in case I get stuck here and want to revert back. I'm going to grab my lasso tool, and the hair along here is pretty good, where here you can see it's not. And um, the trick of these these tips are not necessarily to get rid of a leash next time, but it hopefully will help you see... Um, be able to use this in other circumstances where it could work. Um, I'm just going to basically circle this area here where the hair looks good with exception of this. We'll get rid of that in a minute and do a command J which duplicates the layer on its own layer. Now I'm going to hit a command T to free transform it and what I want to do is actually flip it horizontally. So now we have it backwards and we're going to just scoot that over and put it where we need it. Kind of match it up again, and then basically we ha have some, you know, some of this from before that we got a little too much of, which is easy, and some of this color doesn't work because this is obviously darker over here. So what I'm going to do is with this layer selected with the, the the part that we just copied, we're going to put a mask on that. Go to our paintbrush, which is B for brush. Do a smaller brush, and I'm going to actually um, I'm need to get on the correct brush here. I'm actually on the mixer brush. So we're going to go to the brush, and then what we're going to do is paint in black so we can get rid of some of the mask that we just, or some of the layer that we just created. So I'm going to actually make this a hair smaller, and just come in here and start erasing some of that effect. I want to get rid of this area where it looks sort of out of focus, and we just kind of get that back, and just kind of smooth it out. So now what we've got is we've got this little dog, and if you look close, we have the little hairs in here that actually look pretty good. And with the mask, we can go back in here and, and paint in and out. So I can just toggle back and forth with the X key for, for black and white, and we can kind of get rid of that extra area that came back. But realistically, we're starting to, to see how this is, is starting to look correct, where you have the little fine hairs. And, you know, realistically, we didn't need to do it on this dog, because um, all we're doing is smaller prints for the customer. But realistically, if you were doing something larger where you did have that detail and you would want to keep that, you would want to make sure that it is done absolutely correctly. So, um, and that just is a quick and easy way to sort of get rid of a leash and bring the hair back and make it look fairly natural. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If there's any comments, don't just jump in and throw a comment down if you like it. And thanks for watching.